Metabolic health can mean different things to different people and there are several different ways in which we can measure one's metabolic health. From our end in the clinic we can measure your height and your weight, giving us your BMI. We can also get blood tests to give us hard numbers of how, of how your health is in terms of diabetes, in terms of liver function, among other testings. Another important factor of metabolic health is how you feel, how well you're sleeping, what your mental clarity is like, and your overall wellness and, and sense of how, how well you feel within yourself, how happy you feel within yourself. From speaking to patients over a number of years, I've learned that for a lot of people, actually, what's most important is something that's happening in the near future. Many people have struggled to lose weight for a long time. They may have yo-yoed with their weight on various diets. Often people have a date in the future that they want to get in vertical as fit for. And other people, for example, with grandchildren, may be struggling with their weight to, and, 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 and arthritis, and they may be struggling to play with the grandchildren on the floor, and they want to be able to address that. What's key here is doing what, dressing your metabolic health for a reason that matters to you. Here at the Melbury Clinic, we're passionate about delivering bespoke metabolic health plans. We will identify what your goals are, what's brought you here and how we can help you to be the best you you can be. So why should thinking about metabolic health help you with things such as weight loss? Well, the average normal weight adult carries around about 50 to 60,000 calories of fat in their body. A lot of people who have poor metabolic health carry some of this fat around their middle and they can really struggle to lose that if they follow what has been traditional dieting means such as simply just eating less calories and avoiding eating fat. For many people that doesn't seem to work and doesn't seem to get the results they want. What we want to be able to achieve when we create metabolic health is putting the body into a state that it was probably designed for and getting the engine running, burning the right fuel and burning the fat off the body in a healthy, sustainable, enjoyable way. To do this, we need to understand what your body's insulin levels are doing. Insulin is a hormone that controls blood sugar, lowers blood sugar when we drive it too high with what we eat. And it also tells the body to store fat, do not burn fat. If we're trying to lower our blood sugar level and we release insulin to do that, we do not want our body fighting to try and burn fat at the same time. So by understanding your body's insulin levels, and we can do that with a blood test, we can look at how high your fasting insulin level is, we can get a bit of an idea as to how much carbohydrate, or how, how your body may be being challenged by possibly eating excess carbohydrate, and therefore tailoring the diet to reduce the carbohydrate you may be eating, which can reduce your insulin level and put you into a happier fat-burning state. Lots of patients, when they talk to me about their metabolic health, are focused on the weight, what their number is. For gentlemen, it can also mean what waist size they are, and for my female patients, it can also be what dress size they are. Weight is a fundamental part of the metabolic health process. It's also just as important for me as a clinician to measure other markers. And at the Melbury Clinic, we are very keen to get this whole package for all of our patients. Yes, we will monitor your weight. Yes, we will monitor your BMI. But we'll also get to know who you are, get to identify what your goals are for your health journey. We can measure blood tests. We can measure weight. But equally, we are really interested in what your journey is, in what has brought you to us, and how we can help you on the rest of your journey. What we should be trying to achieve is a state where we are not fighting hunger. If we have 50 or 60,000 calories of fat in our body, or for many of us, an excess of that, what we need to be doing is allowing the body to tap into that naturally, not fighting it, not trying to starve ourselves, not trying to restrict our food, even if the body's telling us we're hungry. We need to say to the body, let's plumb into the fat stores. Let's start running from what I sometimes call the fat tank. When we get this right, when we've adapted our lifestyle to allow our body to do this, suddenly, weight loss can become enjoyable and effortless. We are not driven by cravings to eat constantly. Suddenly you may find, just through your natural instincts, you might only be eating once or twice a day. No longer will you be having cravings two or three hours after eating breakfast. 
So this is what we mean by metabolic health. Let's get your engine running right. Let's understand your bi biochemistry. Let's then adapt the lifestyle to suit that and naturally achieve the results you want to get in an enjoyable way.